Ben Davidson. Subscribe to Speak and Icon. Okay, so I get back and I'm catching up on some of the day's stories and I see John Fury is being Coco the Clown again. I don't know what it is about John where he has to take the limelight away from his own children. I don't I I don't get that. I really don't get it. And I know they're not gonna say anything because obviously, you know, that's their dad. But it's embarrassing. And I know some people say, Oh, it's just promote it's not promotion. It's, it it goes beyond promotion now. The fact that he does it way too much. He thinks he's this some like like he's this tough man, like he's this roadman killer, and and he's not. He really isn't. Listen, I've been around long enough to know who legitimate tough guys are. Legitimate tough guys are those who don't claim to be so. They are the legitimate tough guys. They are people like him are not. They're all talk and just gas. That's all they are. And I'm surprised, especially at these kind of misfit shows where people are around with their phones looking for all kind of clickbait headlines that nobody's chinned him yet. I'm surprised it hasn't happened. I'm very, very surprised. And I don't like saying this kind of stuff against um, John or anything like that because I've got mad love for his brother Peter. And I've done um, a podcast and that with Peter. And of course, I've spoken with him um, a little bit here and there. I mean, I've never once spoken to him about John or Tyson, it's not my place to ask, of course not. And I wouldn't do it. It's none of my business. But I have to say these things because he's a circus clown, is what he is. And if his brother Huey was still around, God rest him, John would not be doing what he's doing. I'll tell you right now, Huey would nail him to the tree. He would. But he doesn't have anybody around. Obviously, like, Huey's not around. Um, his father and that's not around to, like, keep him in tow. And while there's nothing wrong with being proud of your kids, of course he is, with Tyson especially, there's nothing wrong with that. And any father would be, of course. But he goes over the top. He tries to make it about himself that Tyson is only as good as what he is because it came from him. It came from his sack, right? And, you know, you know same with Tommy and whatever else. And... While some of it is entertaining, of course it's entertaining. Does it help with a promotion? Yeah, it does. Of course it does. But at the same time, it's embarrassing. And of course, Tommy's not going to say anything. I mean, Tommy's like the runt of the litter. Is that unfair to say? I don't know. But it's almost like he's trying to fit in, even though he shouldn't have to. And he's not going to turn around to his dad and say, hey, Dad, John, can you just be quiet, please, okay? Because every time there's a press conference or whatever, and it's something about me, you have to take away my limelight. This is about me. I'm the one getting in the ring with Jake Paul. I'm the one getting in the ring with KSI and all that, not you. And as I said before, when you're at these kind of events at the Misfits, where there's so many people running around looking for clickbait headlines, I'm surprised nobody done him. Somebody somewhere, I'm... I'm just surprised it hasn't happened. I thought if it's going to happen, it will be at these kind of events. I'm surprised it hasn't. Because these kind of uh, clicks would go viral, wouldn't they? And when you're living in the world of misfits, everything's about clicks, everything's about huge headlines. Again, I'm not encouraging anybody to do that. Of course not. But I don't understand why people just accept what it is that he does. And there's plenty of fathers in boxing who are like that. There's plenty of fathers who just want to take the limelight away from their kids I don't understand it I don't understand it like um Tifimo Lopez's father and uh once upon a time Danny Garcia's father and whatever else and of course quite a few others they do it like behind the scenes maybe like um, apparently Amir Khan's dad was kind of like that and uh, quite a few others but John is something else where he in his mind he's still a young man he's still in his 20s but he's an old man now. He's not really old, okay? He's not ready to draw his pension as far as I'm aware. But he's not that guy, if he ever was. And of course, listen, he had a failed boxing career. Was it his own fault because he didn't train? How, however it was, okay? It didn't go the way that he wanted it to go. But now Tyson is there. And Tyson is a phenomenal athlete. He is. He's a phenomenal boxer. Maybe the best of this era. In time, we'll find out. But... The way that John carries on, it's madness. I don't know how people there just accept it. And again, of course, you know, he does this kind of thing when there's security around. He wouldn't do that if, if, if security weren't right on his arm. I'm pretty sure of it. 
because it's like a lot of people I know just wouldn't accept that, wouldn't accept it with him getting in people's faces. It's disrespectful. I wouldn't accept it. I wouldn't at all. And I'm sure a lot of you wouldn't either. So I'm surprised he's got away with it for as long as what he has. Living vicariously through his son and trying to take the limelight off his youngest son is just cringy. It's cringy. He needs, he needs taken off TV. He's too much. He's far too much. This is not promotion. This is just embarrassing. He can't help himself because he thinks he's something important. That's what he thinks. But listen, you know, you kind of deal with the hand that you're dealt and he's dealt, his hand is that he's the father of the WBC World Heavyweight Champion. Who knows, maybe the next undisputed heavyweight champion. We don't know how that fight's going to go, of course not. But it's just cringy. It's cringy. Now, at some point, you know, he'll call out Mike Tyson or call out Evander Holyfield or something. He's going to want some kind of payday. Of course he is. But it's just madness. Absolute madness. The way that he's carry on is ridiculous. It's embarrassing. He's embarrassing his son's legacy is what he's doing. Quite why he wants the headlines, I don't know. I don't know why he wants them. Because I think outside of the cameras, he's probably a good guy. He's probably a nice guy generous guy, um, somebody who you could probably sit down and have a cup of coffee with around a fire and just have man-to-man talk. He's probably that kind of guy, but you put a camera on him, his alter ego comes out that he thinks that he's the heavyweight champion in the world, that he's the baddest man on the planet, but he can't fight. That's, re- that's the reality of it. And we know that he can't because of Harry carries on. You want a legitimate tough guy, Peter is a legitimate tough guy. Why? Well, first of all, check his past. Second of all, he doesn't feel the need to run around bragging about things, talking up how tough he is. Those who talk about how tough they are are not tough. They're not tough guys. And we've seen John, even in his younger days, get chinned. What's his version going to be like? He'd die, is what would happen. It's all very well picking on his former mate or whatever it was, where he gouged his eye out, this little midget guy. Okay, it is what it is. But the way he's carrying on is beyond insanity. TV need to remove him, is what they need to do, because he's too much. It's one thing to help promote. It's another thing to go down the path that he's going down. It's ridiculous where he's getting in people's faces. He's pushing, he's throwing bottles, and he's coming out with ob- obscenity. And I, I'm not talking about swearing, because swearing for me is just part and parcel of life and of course boxing but the things that he's saying is ridiculous it is absolutely ridiculous i wouldn't accept it i wouldn't accept him being in my company i wouldn't but anyway what can you do what can you do what are the zone or any other kind of platform going to do because this is where boxing is going it is he's at the forefront of this crap he's not a good trainer he ain't a tough guy And he's just all mouth. That's what he is. He's just mouth. Anyway, my thoughts, drop me yours. Click on the subscribe. Catch you next video.